Hey everyone, Joe here, just doing an intro to our next build, which is going to be part of a group build, and that is going to be the Wings of World War II group build going on over at Hobbylink International, HLI. I, I've talked about them a few times, it's a great little community over there. Um, it, it's a website based, it's a forum based community, but you can you know link videos and do pictures and all that, so uh, a lot of fun and a lot of really good people over there. Um, tons of YouTube people over there as well. Uh, you know, Kenny from HLI, obviously. Uh, um, but uh, also, you know, Benny from Fubar Model Yards there. Um, uh, Rascals Hobbies is over there. Um, there's there's a ton, and I apologize, I am not naming everybody, but uh, it, it's uh, I know Dirk Pitts over there, and. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, and everyone is really nice, uh, as usual. So I encourage you all to go over to HLI. I'll put the links in the description. Sign up, register. doesn't cost you anything. There's no spam emails that you're going to get, anything like that. Uh, if you're like me, sometimes <laughs> you need to get better at uh, going on there and checking everything out. Um, it's hard for me to keep up with the YouTube videos, let alone uh, going to other places as well, but... Again, this Wings of World War II group build, it, it goes on all year long. And so they've got other ones going too, by the way, if you're into tanks or ships or whatever. And what we're going to do is this 148 scale SPD-3 Dauntless by Hasegawa. Uh, I, this was actually the third aircraft kit I've ever, I ever bought a lot, about three years ago. Uh, it's got a bit of a hole in here in the package, but other than that, it's sealed. Uh, I was going to do this for a group build, um, and I believe it wasn't Midway, but uh, the Battle of the Coral Sea group build. So I bought this and uh, a Zero and uh, a Wildcat, and I built the Zero and the Wildcat, and this has just been kind of sitting there, and I really felt like I wanted to get into it. So figured we'd uh, do this kit. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, pretty neat box art. Really cool. The only difference between the SPD 2 and 3 is right here on this... Uh, uh, air cooler and uh, it sticks out a little bit more but other than that they're almost identical you'll see here on the on the photograph in the picture of the box it's that intermediate blue right over gray and that's how you picture a Dauntless when you think of it uh, however the, the SBD3 because it was so close to the SBD2 it had a light gray color scheme as well 
which was the entire thing was light gray. And I think that's what I'm going to go with here because it's different. You don't see too many Dauntlesses like that. Um, the SPD 5s and 4s all had the intermediate blue, but here's our decals. A little bit weathered. They're a little yellow. We're probably going to try and paint the tail fin stripes on and, uh, and see what else maybe we can paint on as well. But plastic looks really good. Uh, recessed panel lines. It's a Hasegawa kit. We shouldn't have any issues with fit of course hopefully cross your fingers yeah so it looks really really good nice recessed lines here uh, everything's clean uh, no flash and uh, I'm really kind of excited about this kit here's our here's our wings with our air brakes now you already can see we are gonna have to cut out these air brakes because I want them in the open position so you can see the red I think that'll be a nice uh, contrast with the gray and uh, we're gonna have to drill them all out cut these out prop them open in the open position. A lot of people get the photo etch set for this and I looked for it, it's 30 some dollars. I'm not doing that for for this. I'll just cut these out. They might be a little too thick, uh, that's fine. I'm not paying more for photo etch set than I am for the kit, so. Uh, but it should be fun. I'm not a big fan of cutting plastic, it makes me nervous, but we'll, uh, we'll attempt it, we'll see what we can do. And uh, the rest of the parts look really clean, really crisp. Again, this should be should be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really excited to do kind of that light gray with the red contrast on the inside of the uh, air brakes. Can't wait to get started on this. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, should be a pretty cool build. So we have our reference books here. We have the in action book, which is really good. Here you can see that light gray scheme with the red air brakes now you kind of know why I want to do that um, I think they were trying to do the intermediate blue but it's that in the picture is more the light gray we've also got this squadron book which is the US Navy and Marine carrier based aircraft of World War II very cool book I love this book I've actually read it on a plane a few times uh, cover to cover uh, just really interested in here you can kind of see that light gray screams uh, and also the intermediate blue the American warplanes of World War II. Uh, I have looked it up. Yes, SPD 3s were in the light green color scheme. So, you know, and the, another thing these books have is the, the cutouts. I really love it when they have the cutouts like this. So, that's what we have going on. It should be a whole lot of fun. Very excited. And again, go check out uh, Hobby Link International. Links down below. You know, get signed up. Uh, you know, peruse the community. There's always something going on. There's always a group build. There's always gifts. There are not gifts, but giveaways at the end. There's the model of the year. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe. And until next time, take care.